So let's begin to take a look at what might be called the limestone cycle. In this cycle, we'll come across the word lime on several occasions. We'll be talking about limestone, that's calcium carbonate, quicklime, that's calcium oxide, slaked lime, that's solid calcium hydroxide, lime water, that's a very dilute solution of calcium hydroxide. Here I have got some limestone chips. These are used to dash the walls of houses. And this is the chemical calcium carbonate. I'm going to place some of the limestone chips on top of the wire gauze above a Bunsen flame. And because calcium carbonate requires a lot of energy to make it decompose, I'm going to use two Bunsens, one below and one above, and I'm going to heat this for a considerable time. And as I do so, the heat is going to act on the calcium carbonate and decompose it, break it down to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. There will be very little to observe in this reaction since calcium carbonate, the starting material here in the form of limestone, is white and the product of the reaction, calcium oxide, is also white. So here we are, a minute in, we just turn over the limestone chips from time to time. So I've been heating now for about 10 minutes. This is exactly the process carried out in limestone kilns, where coal is ignited and limestone is placed in around the burning coal and it's heated for many hours to break the limestone down into calcium oxide. Later then water is added to produce a slurry and from that takes out calcium hydroxide known as slaked lime or simply lime that can be used for various purposes. These, these purposes would include lime for reducing the acidity in soil and the production of both cement and plaster for plastering walls. I've left it for about 45 minutes now heating the limestone with two Bunsen's. Again we don't expect to see any change really. The starting material calcium carbonate is white and product of calcium oxide.